Windows 8. And this is what it looks like. I just did a kick about it. We just kicked about so it. So if you follow us on Keek, then you heard about this earlier. Then, you know. So this it's is kind of cool. It's um, like it's like tiles. There's like already apps on here. It's set up sort of like what you'd be used to with like uh like the new like smartphones and such. And I think it I think this is kind of what like a Windows phone looks like sort of. It has like tiles. I really think they're taking a different approach to operating systems. Although you can go back to here, and it still looks like Windows 7, which this is actually Sabrina's old, well it's my computer. This is the same computer, and it updated everything from Sabrina's old computer. So it's all here, and it's everything still works fine, other than, I don't know why these are white, but it's kind of weird. What's confusing to me is, there's not really a start menu anymore. It goes to this instead. And then you hit the Windows button to go back. And then if you go to this, what? I don't understand. I'm a little bit confused. We're still figuring it out. But if you, there's sort of a start menu. When you do it, it says settings, device, share, and search. And if you click start, it goes to this. So like this is the new start menu, I guess. And I guess all your applications will be right here. But I don't see any of our applications. So I'm a little bit confused. But it's not really the actual window, Windows 8. It's just like a... Here's Windows Explorer. What is it called? This is a developer preview. Which it's a developer preview, which means not the full thing. So it's probably going to get better. But I'm telling you right now, I don't think anyone's going to like it. Like Nobody it's... likes change, okay? And when they go to this, they're going to be like, I don't like this. And the only reason they're going to say that is because they don't understand it. Tweet at Rama. Tweet at Rama. But really, all they're trying to do is make things more user friendly. I want to get internet on this so I can test this stuff out. This all seems pretty interesting. Well, we'll come back to you when we know more. Alright, so I've been messing around a little bit more with um, Windows 8, and I found some little things that are making it seem like the tiles are more useful than I originally thought. Like, at first they just look like tiles, but I see that you could actually use these tiles, and w the ap people who make the applications, the designers, or developers, I mean, can develop things with the tiles where it actually shows information on the tile before you click on it. So it's kind of interesting because I mean instead of just like saying okay here's the application let's click on it it runs in the background and you could choose like you could see information about it like for instance I just played this game by the way it comes with a bunch of really weird games that I that are they're kind of fun but they're just like puzzle games I don't understand why it comes with that but see it says hey great job you've earned all the stars you're getting the hang of whatever. So that's information from that game that I just played. At first it didn't have information there, but as I play the game it shows more information. I also found out that these tiles don't need to be this big. Like for instance, I can right click this one. And see it has a check next to it, so this pops up. Here I'll show you. I just right clicked it and this popped up. So I can make it smaller and I watch. If I click this right here, I'll show you it'll get smaller. See? And I can make it back to larger and now it's large again. There's also, you can unpin it. It's sort of like the Windows 7. So like I said, I unpin it and it'll go away and you can uninstall it right from here. So it's kind of cool that you can uninstall applications right from here. It's also kind of scary because if someone's on your computer, they can just like uninstall anything that's right there. So it's kind of, I don't know. It's still a lot of work to go here, but I could definitely see the developers taking advantage of these tiles and using it for something good. I'm a little bit confused because a lot of the applications that I had installed on Sabrina's, on the computer that we had before, aren't in the tiles. Well, none of them are, really. I thought they would show up in here. Settings is different now. This pops up over here, and it's kind of... Everything's with tiles now. I think it's more for people with touchscreen TVs or tablets, I guess. I, they're going to be able to put this on tablets. So I don't know if this is going to be very, really, like, aimed for, like, people that are doing work. But either way, we're probably going to end up getting it. Because we like to be at the... T at the cutting edge. Um, that's what I've found out so far. If I figure anything else, I'll tell you more. All right, I actually already figured this part out, but I just thought I'd tell you now. Um, these tiles can be moved around wherever you want, which is kind of cool. And I like how it's animated. It just like, kind of pushes it out of the way. Um, it's sort of like a tumbler thing that I have for the Terabyte. For, for ter we have our Terabyte's tumbler sort of like this. If you resize the window, it moves everything around. Oh wait, one just went off the screen. What does that mean? Oh, you could have multiple desktops, I guess. Oh, and it scrolls down here. That's cool. 
So this can, this, this can go on as far as you want. But really, I think I'm just missing a lot because I think a lot of this has to do with like touch stuff that I can't really do unless I... I, I could scroll though, I could just use the scroller. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be back. If you log out or if you just turn your computer on, this is what you see. It's like a background with just the, um, the date and the time. Uh, well, I, mean, I can't think right now, it's really early in the morning. And it says if you're um, on the internet or not, which we're not. And it's just like that. And you're like, what? What do I do? There's nothing to do. And then you, you take and you drag it up. It's like a little cover. You drag it up and then your login screen's there, which is green. And it's like a big green square, which I kind of like. I like the color green, so I'm, I'm digging this sort of. But it's just kind of weird. When I first turned it on, I was like, oh, is it still loading? What's going on? I was, I was confused. I didn't realize I had to push it up. I don't know. Now I'm playing this really weird word search game. Like, you have to like drag it from one letter to the next, like A, D, O, R, E. That'd be a door. See? I didn't understand that. I always thought word search was just like straight lines or crosses, but it's actually you can go whatever direction you want and just keep changing directions. It's kind of an interesting game. I like it. Alright, so check it out. Here's the new control panel. Right here, they actually let you choose that little intro tile. Which is kind of weird. Um, over here we have activate windows, personalize users, wireless notifications, privacy, general search, share, send, and ease of access. It's all pretty general stuff. They're really going for like a really big view for everything now. Like you can't really have anything in a little window and be doing something at the same time, which is a little bit annoying. But I guess you could do that all this stuff on. I don't know, I, don't, I really don't think this is for like a desktop user type person. Maybe they're going to add things to it. I'm, I'm a little bit... I don't know where they're going with this. I don't know what they're doing. Alright, so overall, um, I definitely see a lot of um, room for development for this. Like, it could definitely go somewhere and be interesting. I don't really think it's going to be good for people that are used to Windows 7 or people that are on desktops even. I, yet. It, it might change. It might get better. They might make it give you more options or something but really it just seems like for touch screens and tablets like I said already if you want to get this you just search Windows developer preview and it's free and you download it and install it and you can go right over your Windows 7 installation if you already have it. that's what we did and it just kept all of our settings and stuff from before but before you do that you gotta think about it and make sure that there's nothing important on your computer because keep in mind this is a developer preview it's I don't even think it's even beta yet like it's just a developer preview like that's before beta, I'm pretty sure. Maybe not. I'm, I'm getting my stuff mixed up. I think it's like developer preview. No, no actually, no. Preview, I guess it's kind of like a, is it, it's not a release candidate. Maybe it's after beta. I'm not sure. But it's still, you know, I mean, even though it's running really well for us, we're doing it on this random computer that we don't, we can care, give a crap less if it breaks. Does that make sense? So we don't, we honestly don't care if we lose any of the files. And I backed, I even backed up the stuff that was on here, even though we don't care if we lose it just because it's like cool pictures and stuff from a long time ago and we want to reminisce you know but yeah I just want to say like I mean, we can even put a link in the description I just just be careful and what happens is you download the ISO and you burn it onto a DVD then you put it in your computer and you install it just like any other Windows and the installation I should, probably should have recorded this but the installation was really cool like usually it's a pain in the butt I've noticed from Vista to Windows 7 I had a lot of issues but with this one it was just like okay well this this is gonna happen and then it just like kinda went through and it said do you want to keep all your files from before and I was like yeah I didn't have any issues. Usually I have issues, so... It's definitely worth checking out, I guess. So we're, we're learning about Uranus and Anchor Watch. It's in Cambodia. Thanks to Windows 7, you can learn things. There's no better time to learn. The Statue of Liberty. Windows 7. Windows 8. The Acropolis. I'm learning that we're not on Windows 7 anymore right now. Uh, I just woke up. The Taj Mahal. Did you tell them about your parents? This is a weird angle. I just spit all over the place. Whoa! It's Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu. That's the. It's between Machop and Pikachu. Machop. Machu Picchu. <laughs> Machu Picchu. So now we're gonna learn our uh, our animals. So uh, right right here we got a. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Shark. It's a shark. 
Shark. It's a, it's a shark. Fox. It's foxy. Polar bear. Oh, it's cute. It's a rabbit. rabbit. It's a rabbit. Cow. Does it say cow? Her name is Daisy. Really? <laughs> Turkey. <laughs> Turkey. Dog. Rhinoceros. It's like what? doesn't complete words. Rhinoceros. Yeah, it said sphinx instead of sphinx. Toad. Bear. Bear. Bat. Ew, what's an ugly bat? Has a fuzzy belly. Like you. <laughs> Ferret. Duck. Raven. Why is Raven in there? It's kind of weird. So we're learning our woof. Woof. <laughs> woof. Woof. I didn't even say wolf. Tiger. Aw. Ew! It has like herpes. <laughs> Frog. Squirrel. Monkey. Horse. Why is a horse running in water? We're, we're little kids. Jellyfish. Jellyfish. Seagull. Jellyfish. Jellyfish. Now they're playing Sudoku. <laughs> so if you want to play one. a bunch of weird games, go ahead and get the Windows 8 developer preview. Five. As long as you don't have important files on your computer. Of course. Two. Sabrina's obsessed with Sudoku. I'm not obsessed. What are you doing, Chrissy? Making... I was talking to Chrissy. Oh. <laughs> Making grilled cheese. Man. Where is she? She's walking the dog. Here she comes. You would not expect a dog to like this. Watching Dexter? Yeah. So what do you think about this episode? <laughs> Dance. Dance. Get away. 
Do you miss your mommy and daddy? Oh. Alright, this is like... And then... It's just all part of it here, and then... So... We found out that uh, Sleep with Sirens is going to be on DJ Rostar or something. I don't know who that is. <laughs> um, some guy in Stickham. He goes live and wouldn't talk in like interviews bands, and they're here right now. And uh, they were asking questions of the bands, and we're like, would you ever collaborate with Terabrite? And um, he asked them the question. They're like, Terabrite wants to know if, you'll ever if, you're, uh, if you will ever collaborate with... I can't talk. That's really hard to say. If you ever... If you will ever collaborate, <laughs> Tara, wa Tara Bright wants to know if you will ever collaborate with Tara Bright. That's what he said. Well, that was really hard to say. And he asked him that. He's like, who's Tara Bright? He's like, oh, and, and then he's like, I don't know. Maybe he just wants promotion on your show. And then, no, said, oh, it sounds like a light bright. That's, a, that's what the per other person said. You made him sound mean. No, he said, oh, maybe, maybe it's a band that wants to get on your show. Yeah. He, that's how he said it. He didn't say, maybe they want promotion. But You're honestly, making shit up. Honestly, we, we get more views than... <laughs> DJ Rockstar, so we can care less. We just want to know if they're collaborating with us. <laughs> they, they should just answer the question, man. He did. He said, I don't know who they are. Oh. He, well, said, uh, he goes, oh, who? Oh, I don't know who they are. That's when hmm. he, he said it nicely. I don't know why you're making him sound so you're mean. You're standing up for Kellen. Huh? Because you made him sound mean. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. You'd think DJ Rockstar would know who we are. No, like, I, I kind of knew who he was. Well, it's because, I mean... Because we're both on Stick'em every day. On the front page of Stick'em. People who are on the front page of Stick'em should know each other. Yeah, I, I know pretty much everyone that goes on, that gets on the front page of Stick'em. I don't know. He must not care about that kind of stuff. I don't know. But, um, anyways, we're going to see if we can call him. We should probably vlog if, we, if they call us. So, uh, might be back. Okay, go. Do it. You just got VL'd. And also the game. And you lost the game. But at least you got VL'd. Yeah, at least. <laughs>